solve the literal equation. So if you're wondering what that means, um, a literal equation is just an equation with lots of variables. So in this problem we have t equals mg minus mf, and we're looking for f. Let's go ahead and work through it. Solution. So as you can see, the f is over here. So maybe a good first step would be to get this uh, by itself on, on one side. So let's go ahead and do that. We'll start maybe by um, subtracting uh, this piece here from both sides, this mg. So I'm going to write it again, mg minus mf. And we're looking for f, so let's, let's subtract mg. So minus mg minus mg. So this cancels. And so we're left with t minus mg equals minus mf. OK, so now we have to solve for f. So it's being multiplied by negative m. So all you have to do is do the opposite of multiplication. So that'll be division. So you divide by negative m, divide by negative m, and these cancel. And so you get t minus mg over negative m. And that would be equal to f. That's an OK answer. There's a couple things you can do to make it look better. So one thing you can do is you can write the f on the left hand side like this. So little f is equal to big T minus mg over negative m. So that's a pretty good answer. That's one way to write it. If the negative sign on the bottom is not nice, what you can do is the following. You can rewrite it as follows. So it was negative m. And you can it's really a negative 1. And so what you can do is you can bring it up. So it'll be like this, negative 1 times t minus mg over m, right? You can take that negative one on the bottom and you can just bring it upstairs. But when you do, you do have to leave it on the outside. So now we can distribute that negative one. So it'll be negative t plus mg over m. And if you want to go a step further, again, probably not necessary, but let's do it. mg minus t over m. So this would be another answer. As you can see, though, this answer takes many more, many more steps. So either is probably good. I hope this video has been helpful.